Hello and welcome to this very quick demo on denial of service. So in Kali, if you go to the Kali tools listing, you'll see there are some denial of service tools there. Um, but over time they've been deprecated or taken out. So the tool I want to show you isn't actually on Kali anymore. It's a tool called Slow Loris, but you can download it from the internet. And let's do that quickly. So just open up a browser. And we just Google Slow Loris. And you go to the GitHub where the source code is located. Um, let's open that up there. And let's make it a raw file so that we can copy and paste it. So let's do that. Control. Control A, Control Copy. Um, let's go here to our desktop and create a new text document. So let's paste it in there. And um, it's perfect. So let's file. Let's save that uh, to the desktop. And we will call it slowloris.pl. Very important because this is a Perl script and let's save it okay so there is our slow loris.pl excellent so here's our, our victim as usual we're running windows 10 and he is the admin of a wordpress website which i've created called test site over here so as you can see it's just a normal wordpress website and it's busy running on uh, ubuntu server this one over here great so now we're going to start our attack. So as you can see, the, the site loads pretty quickly for our guy, but we're going to create a sin flood using slowloris.pl. So let's see how we do that. Open up a terminal. Let's just get into that correct directory, which is desktop. Let's do an ls. There's our slowloris.pl. And the command is quite simple. It's perl and then slowloris.pl minus a DNS and then the domain or the IP address of the server that you're attacking. So this one is 192.168.1.6 as you can see over there. And you literally just hit enter. Okay, so now what Slow Loris is doing is it's opening up a whole bunch of SYN connections to the actual website so that um, no other resources can actually make connections. And if we quickly just go to the um, server itself and do a, a SS for socket state command, you can see there are multiple um, connections being made from 103, which is this machine here, to 1.6, all on HTTP. And the effect is for our sysadmin when he tries to go to the actual website, if you wait long enough, you will see that it will generally fail. And there you go. So now we've <coughs> effectively denial of service this website using a tool called Slow Loris. Now, how would you prevent that? Well, quite simply, if I had a web application firewall or a firewall protecting this web server, I would literally just filter any traffic coming from 103 and I would also set a rule saying not to not allow too many concurrent connections from a single IP address. And that would pretty much prevent it. However, if I had 10,000 machines running slow Loris, this would be a very, very difficult thing to actually prevent. And that's where people like Cloudflare and Sukuri come in to assist you. Great. So I hope that this gives you an idea of what a denial of service attack is. And thank you for watching.